What is happening, everybody? This is Eric, the one and only Bay Area Collector. And today, I am actually going to review um, a game that I don't, I've don't. i never really heard a lot of people talk about it. Um, I've known of it since I was a kid. Um, but it never got the recognition that I feel it should get. Um, and they've talked about it here and there, but it's not really... Um, I don't think it's really that that popular, in my opinion. Um, but it's uh, I would consider it a, a hidden gem and a game that I finally got the monkey off my back. And I'll explain more um, as I go on in the video. And that game is Disney's Goof Troop for the SNES. Now, this game came out back in 1993 by Capcom. And it's based off the cartoon um, series of the same name. If you guys remembered um, Goof Troop, those of you who remember, of course, you guys remember the Disney Afternoon. Um, this is one of those cartoons that came out after the Disney Afternoon um, cartoons, um, which carry on the next generation of it, in my opinion. Um, but to me, I never was a real fan of the Goof Troop cartoon. Don't say that I hate it. Don't say that I like it. I never really cared for it. Um, Goofy in Disney has never been one of my favorite characters. Um, he actually, and some, sometimes he annoys me, <laughs> but that not to hate on Goofy, but, but anyways, um, yes, this is based off the cart, you know, the cartoon series. Now, for those of you who don't remember the cartoon, it takes the adventures of Goofy and his son Max, who are now friends with Pete, um, which was Goofy's rival back in the days. But now they're, they're friends, Pete and his son, PJ. Um, but the game basically is about Goof, Goofy and Max are out fishing one day when they notice that Pete and PJ are getting swallowed up by a giant ship, which is some pirates that are kidnapping them. And so they take off and they go off and rescue them. Now, um... The game is an overhead adventure game, very similar to Zelda style. Um, you can play as one or two players. Player one is Goofy, player two is Max. And, and each there's about five levels, and each level is very puzzle-oriented. So you need to find like the route and, and the way into the layer of the bosses in order to move on to the next stage. Um, it's a very fun game. Now... Back in the days, I used to own a copy of, of this one when I was a kid. It was one of those games that I never really... Oh, man. The, okay, it's not a hard game. It's not an easy game. It's a good game. Now that I played it uh, as an adult, and the reason why I say that this game is one of those games that I got the monkey off my back is because um, when I was young and I got the game, I never got the hang of the gameplay mechanics of it. Now, I know that Goofy used to move the character, but I never realized um, what you needed to do. Like, you have these certain gadgets you find. You find, like, this grappling hook and certain planks and keys. But each of each of them um, will be taking up the space of your inventory. And you can only carry two at a time. And in each, cer in each circumstance, say, for example, there's one way that you can get through. You need to find the plank. You need to grab that item, drop the, the grappling hook or another one or whatnot, pick it up, use it, and then come back and grab it again, which is what makes the game a little bit challenging. And of course, puzzles, there's some, um, generally your main weapon is picking up items and throwing them. And also when you're doing puzzles and you're trying to open gateways or doors or get items, there's these little challenging rooms with puzzles that you need to figure out where certain stones go in certain areas. But all in all, after playing the game, I had a lot of fun with it. And, and I realized that as I played through the game and, and I had that nostalgia and that, and that memory of when I was a kid, I realized that this game is not a bad game after all. It's a very interesting and very fun game. It's one of those games that I feel that it, for the people who do play it or, or have played it, they, they know the value of the game, whereas people who just see it in passing, they kind of just shrug it off and it's like, whatever. Um, but I learned to appreciate this game. So, yes, this is a very interesting game nonetheless. One that I feel like deserves 
its spot with other Capcom and Disney games. You know, I feel like it it tends to be underrated in my opinion. I don't know. What do you guys think? You guys can leave a comment below and and tell me otherwise or or let me know what you guys think. Um but I feel that it's a very um it's it's a very underrated game. Another reason is because to me, I don't know if people feel that same way, the cartoon was not all that exciting to me. Um maybe it's because um when the cartoon came out, I was already a little bit older than when the than the Disney afternoon cartoons came out before. Um you had cartoons that were like the gummy bears. I wish they would have done a gummy bear video game. I don't know if they have or they haven't, but as far as I know, they haven't. You know, they did the Disney afternoon cartoons into video games and they were awesome. Um, post Disney afternoon would be kind of Darkwing Duck. And then you got Goof Troop and these type of games. Um, these type, sorry, these type of cartoons that came out after it. I even want to say that I think Goof Troop was part of the latter, um, selection, but by then, you know, I was already, I was already kind of like, hmm. Whatever, you know, I don't really care for it. I don't really care for the cartoon and whatnot. But Goofy, again, Goofy was never one of my favorite Disney characters. You know, they're not a Mickey Mouse or Donald Duck to have um, personality. To me, he annoyed me. <laughs> but nonetheless, as far as the game goes, though, don't get me twisted. The game is really fun. And if you guys haven't played it, um, pick yourself up a copy or, or emulate it. Um, this is a game that was super cheap for a really long time. And as of the making of this video, it's gotten up a little bit in price, but it's still not going to break your bank. But I feel that once people discover more people, um, get that nostalgia bug, or they discover more about this game, they're going to run out and want to get it. Um, so um, uh, I feel like like this game is going to be one of those. And yeah, and, and one thing that I that I noticed that is very similar in game style to to like if you guys played the magical chase starting Mickey Mouse where you ha you see the map screen is very similar in that style and the graphics. But then of course the gameplay is totally different than that type of game. Um definitely want to check out um one final thing that I discovered while I was doing my research about this game that the creator of this particular game or was it the creator? Yeah, the designer, the, ga the game was designed by, by the person who developed the Resident Evil series. So, yes, <laughs> um, it, very interesting to know that the creator of Resident Evil um, created this game, which is a total 360 from what we know of Resident Evil. Um, what was the guy's name? His name was, please forgive me if I butcher his name. Is Shinji Mikami, you know, so, so yes, um, he, that, well, I don't know, sorry, that person developed, um, Resident Evil later down the line, but yeah, one game to give a shot, definitely one to play. Anyways, hope you guys enjoy the gameplay footage of the game. Of course, I use cheats to go through the level to make it go quicker because this game tends to be kind of slow if you take your time on a level. So I wanted to rush it a little bit to get you through the first stage. I defeated the boss, but somehow my game kind of froze. But it, it still gave, got me through the end. So you guys can check it out and, and see for yourself. Don't, don't, you know, don't judge it by that. Definitely give it a shot because it's a game worth playing. Anyways, this has been Eric, the one and only Bear Collector. You guys take care. Peace out.